Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this DAL E tutorial, we are going to learn how to generate a logo with DAL E. So there has been the talk that DAL E could replace a lot of things that graphic designers do, which I don't believe, but I think certain mundane tasks DAL E could actually do. One of the things is generating a logo or at least coming up with some kind of a prototype or the initial wireframe. I wouldn't say wireframe, a low fidelity logo that a graphic designer can take and then start using it. Uh, so let's try to create logo for uh, certain brands that we know and then see how DALI can perform. The first one that I wanted to try is I wanted to try Twitter logo. So if if I want to create a logo for Twitter using DALI, um, how would it be? So first thing that I would try to do is I would try to imagine myself what kind of things that I want to give. I want to ask that uh, that logo should have. So I would say because I have got, um, I mean, Twitter is already popular um, because of the bird logo. So I would say uh, a birdie and um, like what kind of birdie I want. So I want I want a birdie with uh, which is um, dig digital art cartoon and a logo in a dark background. So let's see a birdie digital art cartoon logo in a dark background and let's generate. So now, um, unlike before, you could not like run anything that you want, um, primarily because you have got a credit limit. And um, I, 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 I am also not going to try out a lot of things because I've got credit limit. Okay, so this is this is pretty good, but uh, I don't think it looks anywhere like how a typical logo would look like. So maybe that's what that we need to do. So maybe I would remove digital art. I would remove cartoon and I would just say a body logo, um, a body logo, digital art drawing. Let's see a uh, body logo with mail. And let's see what is going to happen. So what we want to do is we want to generate a logo that we could probably, you know, uh, cut the background or do some changes and uh, we can we can we can start using it so that's that's what the objective here is um once again these <laughs> these things look good um but uh, i'm not i'm not entirely sure if it looks like a logo i would say so maybe a body with a mail or i could say a logo um in a dark in a dark circle as the background a blue body let's say blue body with a mail with a message mail is fine and then let me generate so you can actually see that the way I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to tweak my prompt which is again something called prompt engineering and I'm trying to make some changes in which I can I can make um, oh this is amazing so we have got four bodies uh, so we have got body one body two body three body four that has got mail there and um, it's it's kind of nice uh, maybe you know what certain bodies look a little scary so what i can actually say is i can say cute blue body so i can say cute blue baby body so that could mean cuter probably and then i can generate so cute blue baby body with a with mail logo in a dark circle as a background so right now what we have got is we have got settled with how to generate logo when we say logo in a dark circle as a background we get that kind of logo but um, we we change this looks good and there are certain things that we can do improvements and again and these things uh, this, this really looks scary to me um, but uh, but these are these are good but you know these these look cartoonish but you know you got the point the point is we successfully managed uh, to create kind of uh, a logo um, which has um, which has um, um, like like the body and also some element like we can add any element you want like for example you you don't want to add um, add uh, a mail maybe you can say a cute body with um, with um, with English logo in dark so i'm again trying to see if i can get some variation of text in there just to indicate that twitter is a platform for people to send messages so that that is that is the idea here um like let's see what is going to happen 
and again um, when we generate the image uh, you can see so the whole point of this video is how you can create your own logo um, and you can create your own um, icon or fave icon whatever that if you want um that's that's me that's that's the whole point a cute blue body with some english now the problem with this english is um this english becomes um a little rubbish um gibberish i would say so i would um i would i would not keep it so i would uh, i would probably look change it let me let me quickly check how much credits i've got i've got 142 credits um I be, because i was part of the beta program okay um maybe what i'm going to say is cute baby birdie um logo in a dark circle as a background so i can say vibrant and um like you you can you can add uh, anything you want vibrant um adorable um bubbles cheerful and let's let's generate and see if it is going to generate anything new i think at this point i'm going to stop this prompt and then i'm going to try to find a logo for something else and um, which um, which i would say uh, let's let's figure out what is that cute blue body oh this is amazing um honestly speaking like um, i i i really like this and uh, there are certain things that you need to fix but again that's a whole point of a graphic design and now all you have to do is you have to copy this you have to like put a circle on it and then you have to crop it and then and then you have it um may, maybe professional twitter users might not like this new logo that um, um we have generated with with dali but i think um, it it looks it looks really nice um so this this logo experiment has uh, gone very well so let me try out another logo uh, which uh, which is let's say let's say we want to try out logo for a charting library okay so i can say uh, in in this case let's say matplotlib let's say matplotlib is a python library and uh, we want to generate logo and um, matplotlib is now python based library so what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to say um i want a charting library let's let's first see how matplotlib logo currently looks matplotlib logo currently looks like so this this is how it looks um i think probably matplotlib is a terrible choice famous logos let's see if there is any brand that we want to pick um in this so may, maybe um i think it would be a nice idea to create a mkbhd logo mkbhd logo okay so this is this is the logo of marcus brownlee uh, mkbhd who's a big fan of red color and um, black color so what i want to try to do is uh, i want to see if i can create a logo for mkbhd and once again the process is going to be very similar so i'm going to just first formulate what do i want to do in the prompt um, just to have a clean start um, like for example i want mkbhd um, if if i can do a text that's completely fine otherwise a logo of m um and uh, logo with logo of cross um no logo of let's say red and black color logo of red and black color with uh what did we just try last time i just totally forgot so logo in a dark circle logo in a dark circle as a background vibrant blah 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 okay so i'm going to say red and black logo in a dark circle as a background vibrant um x m and let, let's see mkbhd in red and blue let's let's try to see uh, if for this prompt which is mkbhd in red and black logo in a dark circle as a background vibrant adorable bubble chief i don't know why did i give that but let's see what happens um but what what i was expecting is i want to somehow create something like this like it's it's a very minimalistic way of shape um let's say if i can describe that in for dali so okay now this is i don't know maybe dali thought uh, mk based yet in conferences i don't know this is weird so maybe um, a cross 
required mm, uh, what is that shape called a shape four sided shape i totally forgot okay maybe uh, maybe um, a slanting rectangle shape in red and blue logo 3d isomorphic let's see what happens if, if it if it generates any nice logo if not you know um you you can always blame it on me that my my prompting skills are terrible but the whole idea of this video is how you can explore generating business logos like logo for a, for a certain purpose um even for that matter what i want to actually try is i want to try fiber logo task and actually see how we can do that like for example if people say like there is a there is a logo um and uh, you know something like i wanted to i wanted to try something that people have already tried so there is a palm house these things look nice let's 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 do um some of these are nice and like slanting triangle um but i wouldn't say it's quite there um minimalistic i would say minimalistic black minimalistic logo i don't want vibrant i don't want 3d more a slanting rectangle i i totally forgot the shape name i think that's a slanting triangle two inverted let's say two inverted triangles overlapping and let's see um this 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 would most likely probably my last attempt for this logo um i've already run out of uh three three or four credits for this uh, finally before we wind up i want to try and see if we can try to create one of these um logos over there like that that we just saw on fiber and um and with that with that we'll wrap, wrap the video um but the whole idea is like first you formulate your idea um in terms of english then you try to add attributes to it like minimalistic logo in a dark circle as a background and then you try to tweak it so one of the things that i'm not doing here is i'm not trying variations or edit oh we've got we've got it generated and <laughs> this right now this looks absolutely good and um, i especially like this one and this is amazing and uh, this also looks good so um i mean um i think it's it comes down to personal preference i really like this um i really like this so what i thought is now we'll try to generate something that is here i thought what if um you know like you want a cat to eat noodles um and that's what you want so i'm going to go back and i'm going to start from scratch um a sketch a cartoon i mean a, a, an orange color sketch pencil sketch logo of a cat slurping noodles in a bowl logo in dark background circle let's see so what what i actually try to do is i wanted a, an orange color uh, the reason why i give pencil sketches because i don't want it like a cartoon but i want it like you know um, the sketch outline and what i want my main subject is like a cat sloping noodles and the noodles should be in bowl and uh, this entire thing i want it to be like a logo in the dark background and somehow i've tried to articulate it here and and uh, oh i really like this um this looks a little weird this looks so ugly um this looks good but but i would definitely try to find i want to click this and i want to select vari click variations of it um let me click variations yeah so i've i've clicked variations of it so let's see what kind of variations on like i said like i'm, I'm i have probably credit um burnt more than six credits um uh, but but yes this is ugly this is ugly this is ugly this is okay uh 
I think I can do some variations with this, but uh, I still like the original one and it kind kind of um, I didn't ask for chopsticks um, it has added chopstick that is good and one final logo that I thought we'll try is um, we'll try to create like um, like a housing like real estate um, brand uh, so I thought okay let's let's try like here it says palm house so if I have to create um, a logo of palm house palm house trees um as a pencil sketch maybe look at palm house in a dark circle dark background circle look at palm houses palm house trees with skyscrapers let's see um so basically what i want is like Let's say the brand name is palm house or something like that i want some kind of building in there just to say it is a real estate and um, and of course like i want a black or a dark bar oh oh this is this is this is actually amazing like i don't i don't want this text but um um i mean this the these things i mean like again like this text don't make sense but uh, these things look nice so these are nice variations on top of which i can start building so I think our attempt to create logo with Dali has really gone well, and um, and in the in the in in upcoming videos I might try to create like book cover, project poster, and so on. But um, but I hope this video was helpful to you in designing the prompt in such a way that you can create logos using Dali without burning a lot of credit because you can take some cues from my video. If you have any comments or suggestions, or if you had created something that you liked. Please let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I hope you stay safe. Take care. Peace.